powerlifting is a sport composed by three main disciplines called lifts. They are in order, squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. Each athlete has three attempts with one minute per attempt to start the lift. There are three referees and each of them give a white light in case of a good lift and a red light in case of a no lift. The athletes are separated per weight, age and sex category. The sum of each of the best attempts per lift builds the total and the athlete with the bigger total is the winner. In case of a draw, the lighter lifter wins. The squat is the first movement of the competition. On that lift, the use of the legs and the back is extremely important. Once the athlete stands erect with his knees locked and the bar on his back, the central referee gives the squat command. The lifter then bends his knees and lowers his body until the top surface of the legs at the hip joint are lower than the top surface of his knees. He then comes back up, locking his knees and hips in order to complete the lift. The central referee will then give the rack command and the athlete has to put the bar on the squat rack. There are three main mistakes to avoid in order to not have a no lift on the squat. First, if the athlete isn't standing erect with his knees locked at the beginning and at the end of the squat event. Second, if the proper competition depth isn't reached at the bottom of the movement. Third, if the athlete doesn't complete the lift with a single upward movement, meaning if the bar goes down during the ascent of the movement. Hello and welcome to the 2023 IPF World Classic Sub-Junior and Junior Powerlifting Championships. I'm Amelia Potter. And today in Cluj and Poker, Romania, we have the 93 kilo junior class for you. It will consist of two flights, the first flight of 13 and the second flight of 15. And we have some really exciting battles coming up here for you. Earlier we saw Turkey Suleiman, Suleiman Turkey of the 83 kilo class walk away world champion and he's currently sitting at the top of best lifter with 106.02 GL points and kicking us off we have Erland Christensen of Norway opening on 75 kilos now I can only imagine with his squat PB being 250 kilos that he is injured to some degree and just wants to get a squat on the board. And that is a good lift. Hundred and five kilos for Casimir Porten of Finland. Already fifteen kilos above his squat PB. Lovely and deep. And three white lights, that is a good lift. Now when we're looking for depth, we're looking for the hip crease to be below the top of the knee joint. Being parallel is not good enough. It has to be lower than 212.5 kilos for Mustafa Zaran of Egypt. At the age of 19, it says he's been competing for 13 years. 
It's a, a very impressive track record, if that's true. Loses a little bit of tension in the hole, but still manages to stand it up strong, and it is a good lift. Hundred and twenty kilos for Shoya Kaneko of Japan. And two to one, that is a good lift. Just gets a depth call from the left-hand side referee. So let's have a look at that from the angle which he gets that from. Two hundred and twenty kilos for Jean Philippe Haid of Belgium. Just a reminder, we have two flights of lifters. So if you're looking out for someone and you don't see them, they will likely be in the second flight. <laughs> and it looks good. Two to one, a good lift. A depth call from the left-hand side referee. We have Sean Isomura Gillard of Thailand. 225 kilos for his opening attempt. Start command. And that looked nice and easy for Sean. Three white lights, that's a good lift. We have Thomas Martinek of Czechia opening on 227.5 kilos. And three white lights, that was a good lift. We now have Gerlai Andras of Hungary, 230 kilos. No, 
That was nice and easy. Three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and thirty five kilos for Wojin Sia of Singapore. nice and deep and three white lights a good lift it's exactly what we want to see in openers no drama Just getting your opener in and building from there Two hundred and forty five kilos for Ricardo Palacios of Mexico. Just gives respect to all the spotters and loaders looking after him today. And that is a good lift. We have just three opening attempts remaining in this flight. First up we have Mario Montano Camacho of Spain, 250 kilos. and deep and that is a really nice looking opener three white lights a good lift very cool calm and collected lifter Mustafa John Altentas of Turkey opening on 250 kilos has been competing at less than one year and opening 10 kilos below his squat PB. That was nice and easy. Two to one, a good lift. Gets called for depth from the center referee. Let's have a look from the side angle. He gets white from both side referees. The jury seem to be happy with it, so it remains a good lift. Our final opener of this flight, we have John Vertel of the Netherlands, 265 kilos for his opening squat. This is his last year as a junior. A little bit of work, but it looks strong. And three white lights, a good lift.
215 kilos for Casimir Fortin of Finland. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. the rack a little bit but does not face him whatsoever now oh, and not slowing down at all hits depth wonderfully well stands it up and three white lights it's a good lift leaving him with plenty of room to grow into his third Two hundred and seventeen point five kilos for Mustafa Zaran of Egypt. Lost a little bit of tension in the hole on his first squat, but it was still very quick. Yeah, and it's pure power, still moving really well. Three white lights, a good lift. Hundred and twenty seven point five kilos for Jean Philippe Haid of Belgium. A seven and a half kilo jump from his opener. Philippe is a very tall 93. Still has room to grow into the class, weighing in at 90.2 kilos. Two to one, a good lift. Gets called for depth from the center referee. Let's have a look at that in the replay. Obviously getting white from both side referees, where it's usually a bit easier to tell depth. Yeah, and that looks like a good lift from here. A 12 and a half kilo jump for Shoya Kaneko of Japan to 232.5 kilos. A little bit of work but manages to stand it up, and it is a good lift. Seeing some really nice squats and jumps here in this flight of lifters. Sean Izumura Gillard of Thailand, 237.5 kilos. This is a 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Still moving really nicely, controls the bar really well. And it is a good lift. I'll take this moment to mention that the world junior and open record are 331 kilos held by Anatoly.
Jerlai Andras of Hungary, 240 kilos. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. That's nice and easy still. Three white lights, a good lift. Thomas Martiniak of Czechia, 242.5 kilos, a 15 kilo jump from his opener. Just a reminder, if you're waiting to see somebody and you haven't seen them yet, they're probably in the next fight. There are two flights of 93s. Oh, and it's a five, but he is working through it. What a great effort for Thomas. Oh, but unfortunately, he gets called from all three re referees for blues. I think he gets called for downward movement just there where he gets stuck in that sticking point. Two hundred forty-seven point five kilos for Wojin Sia of Singapore. A twelve and a half kilo jump from his opener. Again, that was lovely indeed. Still moving really well. And three white lights, a good lift. Incredibly strong, especially considering he's only been competing for one year. Ricardo Palacios of Mexico, 257.5 kilos. 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. And already well ahead of his squat PB of 245. Looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and sixty kilos for Mustafa John Alintas of Turkey. A ten kilo jump from his opener. It will mention where they move to their squat rank, but until we see both flights lift, that won't be finalized. Nice steady walkout. And that looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. Interesting, his wrists kind of roll as he stands up here, if you keep an eye on them. Pushes it up. Two hundred and sixty five kilos for Mario Montano Camacho of Spain. A fifteen kilo jump. So it match his current squat PB on his second attempt. 
This is his last year as a junior, and there are actually a lot of juniors aging out after this year that we're seeing in the 93s. Wow, a lovely looking second attempt. Still really deep and moving n really nicely. And that is a good lift. Our final second attempt, we have John Bertel of the Netherlands, 275 kilos, a 10 kilo jump from his opener. Five red plates aside. Oh, and it is work. But actually for the only, the first half of the squat actually. Ooh, two to one, a no lift. It's called for depth from the left hand side and a blue from the right hand side for downwards movement, I believe. And we're just watching to see if the bar goes down. And it looked like it was deep enough. It's in the hands of the jury now, whether they are all in agreement. And it looks like it was two to one on the jury. So unfortunately, it won't get overturned. We move through to our third and final attempts from this first flight. 225 kilos for Casimir Portin of Finland. A lovely third attempt and 10 kilos on his squat PB. Three white lights, a good lift and a great start to the competition with all three squats on the board. <laughs> 230 kilos for Mustafa Zahran of Egypt. Jumping 12 and a half kilos from his second. Oh, and he unfortunately can't push through it. We did see on his first and his second, he really descends into the hole fast. And because of that, loses tension. And I think that just didn't play into his favor here on his third. As it's a bit too heavy to get out of the hole. Next, 232.5 kilos for Jean-Philippe Head of Belgium. Five kilo jump from his second. Gets ready, needs to make sure he's 100% ready to move this weight. The clock is counting down with five seconds left. Gets the start command just in time. And it looks really nice. Three white lights, a good lift, and it's well worth waiting until you're ready, especially if it's a weight near your top end, or one that maybe you've not even touched before. You just don't want to leave it so fine that if you have to re-rack, you run out of time. 242.5 kilos for Thomas Martinek of Czechia. 
missed this on his second and is looking to retake it now on his third. And he works through it, and that looks way better than his second attempt. Three white lights, a good lift. Gets those extra kilos on his total, absolutely sinks it, and works through that difficult part of the lift without letting the bar drop. 242.5 kilos for Shoya Kaneko of Japan, a 10 kilo jump from his second. He screams as he tries to work through it, but unfortunately, it's just a little bit heavy for him today. Sean Asamura Gillard of Thailand, 245 kilos for his third and final attempt. This would match his best squat PB. Super controlled squats. And finishes his squats, looking like he's still got kilos left in the tank. Three white lights, a good lift. Delight Andras of Hungary, 250 kilos. A 10 kilo jump from his second. Screams at the bar, and the crowd scream back. And works through it, laughs at the top. And it is a good lift, gives a heart to the crowd. We have just five squats remaining before we move through to the second flight of 93s. First up, we have Wei Jin Xia of Singapore, 260 kilos, a 12 and a half kilo jump from his second. Unfortunately, can't quite push it out the hole. Just a little bit too heavy today for Sia. And it's a no lift. Hundred and sixty five kilos for Ricardo Palacios of Mexico, a seven and a half kilo jump from his second.
working through it, stands it up. What a fantastic effort. Three white lights, a good lift, and the work pays off. Mustafa John Altentas of Turkey, 267.5 kilos. He nods as he stands it up. He is confident. Three white lights, a good lift, a strong end to the Scots for Alton Tass. Mario Montano Camacho of Spain, 272.5 kilos. For his third and final attempt. The second looked good. Oh, and he is fighting. Let's out a huge scream. And it is a good lift. A huge PB for the Spanish lifter. Our final squat of this first flight of lifters before moving straight through to the second flight. John Vertel of the Netherlands retaking 275 kilos. Managed to stand it up on his second but got called for depth and downwards movement from two of the referees. It was a two to one, no lift. Can he get it this time round? Just needs one of those reds turned over to a white to make it a good lift. Just told to re-rack there. He has 25 seconds left. And the clock has restarted. I think the coach said that the collar was not on tight enough. So the head referee is just checking now that it's tight as possible and the plates are flush with each other. I believe they've just gone to get another collar. Making sure that they are 100% happy. You do not want any of those plates slipping around on your back. The bar is now loaded for John Vertel of the Netherlands, 275 kilos. it up. Was it deep enough this time round? Oh, unfortunately it wasn't. Two to one, a no lift. He gets two depth calls from the side referees. The coach goes to the jury, but unfortunately is sent away. And that concludes our first flight of lifters. Don't go anywhere. We move straight through to the second flight. And it's worth reminding you now that the world junior and open record is 331 kilos belonging to Anatoly before he aged out and moved up to 105s. We 
now have Luca Umberto Angrizano of Italy, 255 kilos. That is a good lift. Two hundred and fifty five kilos for Jonathan Asotin of Canada. nice and easy three white lights a good lift and it's well worth just opening with a conservative number getting your opener in and then just making a slightly bigger jump should you need to it's not worth risking it on your opener Two hundred and fifty seven point five kilos for Enrico Provato of Italy. And that looked really good. Three white lights, a good lift. Semir Aguin of Germany, 260 kilos for his opening attempt. Nice and easy. And a good lift. Now have Matt Sylvie of New Zealand, 265 kilos. Nice steady walkout. And a great looking opener. Three white lights, a good lift. And in an ideal world, there won't be much for me to say on the openers because I'm hoping that they're all moving like that. The openers are not the place to see drama. And that's the way we like to keep it. James Lowe of Canada, 265 kilos.
And that is a good lift. Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain opening on 265 kilos. Fifteen kilos below his squat PB of 280. Two years left in the juniors. And that was nice and easy. So easy, he almost wobbled at the top there. Three wide lights, a good lift. Alexander Wairu Ang of Singapore, 270 kilos. And this is a good time to mention on projected totals between first and fifth, there's currently only 17 and a half kilos between them. So it's gonna be a close race until the end for the podium. Nice and steady. Maintains his position well. Three white lights, a good lift. Nathan Gaval of Great Britain, 270 kilos. His final year as a junior, and opening 25 kilos below his best squat. Nice and snappy there at the top. Three white lights, a good lift. We have Kalmik of Ireland, 275 kilos for his opening squat. 15 kilos below his squat PB. And well in the race for gold overall on projected totals. And that looked nice and easy. Three white lights, a good lift. Shane Nutt of the United States opening on 275 kilos. Also his final year as a junior. His squat PB is 305 kilos. And it looks good. Three white lights, a good lift.
Peyton Johnson of the United States, 275 kilos. Another lifter very much in the race for the world title. Has been competing for less than a year. Gets the start command. And it's a little slower than some of the other openers we've seen, but it still looked good. Three white lights, a good lift. And there are many successful lifters that don't lift quickly. Does not mean they can't keep adding weight. So we'll have to wait and see. Three squat openers remaining. Malik Banusi Triole of France, 275 kilos. That was a tidy looking opener. Three white lights, a good lift. We now have Jonathan Sellies of Belgium, 275 kilos. He is one of the lighter lifters taking this weight, so this moves him into squat silver for the time being. This is also Jonathan's last year as a junior. His squat BB is 297.5 kilos. Ooh, and a slow lockout, but held his position well. And two to one, a good lift. It's a yellow call from the right-hand side, referee. And I'm trying to see here what that could have been for. But I think he'll be good. We move on to our final opening squat now, and we have Yulong Lee of Sweden, last year's champion, opening on 282.5 kilos. Our biggest squat opener. Wow, that was depth if you ever asked for it. And he shook it off. But three white lights, a good lift. Just in case you missed how deep that was, let's look at that from the side. And they made it a little bit harder for him on the way up, but he definitely gets that opener in. No issues with depth whatsoever. And that concludes our opening attempts for the second flight of 93s. With everybody getting an opener in, they just can continue to build from here. We have Jonathan Asselstein of Canada, 265 kilos, a 10 kilo jump from his opener. A little bit more work but not quite as top end yet. Two to one, a good lift. Gets called for depth from the left-hand side referee, so let's look from that angle. This is the side that gets the depth call. The referees, the jury, sorry, aren't budging, so I think you'll be safe with that. Enrico Pravato of Italy, 270 kilos. A 12 and a half kilo jump. Yeah. 
hole and he fights through, but it looked like his left knee buckled a bit as he hit the hole. Let's have a look at that there. He just watch his far knee as he hits the hole. It's hard to tell from that angle. Maybe it's something he can fix up on his third, but if it is a strength issue, there's not many places to go from there. Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy, 270 kilos. A 15 kilo jump from his opener. It is a bit of work. B locks it out. And it is a good lift. <laughs> 275 kilos for Matt Sylvie of New Zealand. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. just looks a bit too heavy for him. He did manage to move it out of the hole, so not an impossible thought that he could work through it next time. But it's definitely a limit lift for him today, it seems. Semi Aiduin of Germany, 277.5 kilos. A 17 and a half kilo jump from his opener. That was nice and deep and it still looks pretty easy for him. Three white lights, a good lift. <laughs> Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain jumping to 277.5 kilos, a 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Just two and a half kilos below his best squat. And still moving well. Three white lights, a good lift. Hundred and eighty kilograms for James Lowe of Canada. A fifteen kilo jump from his opener. Looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. Seeing some huge squat attempts and we're only into the second squats.
Alexander Wei Ru Ang of Singapore, 282.5 kilos. And as I mentioned before, it is a close race towards the top, so every kilo counts. Nice and controlled into the hole. Gets the rack on. Let's wait to see what the referees say. Two to one, a good lift. Guess White's from the side referees who usually can tell depth a little bit easier. Yeah, and that definitely looks better from the side. It is harder to tell depth from the center. Peyton Johnson of the United States, 282.5 kilos for his second attempt. And it looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. And I did say some people are just slower squatters. And it looks like he might be one of them. He added seven and a half kilos to that opener. We now have Malik Bernissi Triolet of France, 285 kilos, a 10 kilo jump from his opener. Just 19 years old, has plenty of time left in the juniors. And it looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. Jonathan Selly of Belgium, 285 kilos. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. And he laughs at the top. It looks better than his opener. Three white lights, a good lift. A 17 and a half kilo jump for Nathan Gaval of Great Britain. This moves him into squat gold for the time being. Competed as an 83 last year, now in the 93s. And that is a good lift for Nathan. Oh, 
Ian Kalmick of Ireland, 290 kilos. A 15 kilo jump from his opener, moving him into squat gold. With two lifters to follow, also taking 290, who are lighter. And it's still moving well. Two hundred and ninety kilos remains on the bar for Yulong Lee of Sweden. A seven and a half kilo jump. Absolutely sunk his opener. He's lighter than Kalmek. Wow, sunk it again. He nods and he's right. It does look better than his opener. Three white lights, a good lift. He is never going to get called for debt. Shane Nutt of the United States, 290 kilos. Moving him into squat silver before heading through to the third round of squats. Slow but steady, locks it out, and it is a good lift. These lifters do not want to leave any kilos behind, and I don't blame them. And that concludes the second attempt with Yulong Lee in squat gold currently with Shane Nutt and Iron Colmick behind him on the same weight. Enrico Provato of Italy, 270 kilos. Missed it on his second, reattempting it here on his third. And he fights through, but unfortunately, it's just too heavy for him today. Luckily, he did get his opening attempt in, so he's safe moving through to bench to continue to build a total. <laughs> 270 remains on the bar for Jonathan Asustin of Canada. A five kilo jump from his second. He's been competing for seven years, and you can tell with a third attempt like that. Three white lights, a good lift. Five red plates aside, 275 for Matt Sylvie of New Zealand. Didn't get it on his second. Looking to come back now. Get those extra kilos here on his third. Nice, strong on rack. Go! 
And he's still fighting through, and that looks way better than his second. Three white lights, a good lift. And he is completely unfazed. Two hundred and seventy seven point five for Luca Umberto and Grisano of Italy. Seven and a half kilo jump from his second. Pushing through, can he fight it up? He can. And it is a good lift. Did really well to push through that as his body continued to fold forwards. I think he surprised himself there. 7 of Germany, 285 kilos. Seven and a half kilo jump. Still with kilos to spare. Three white lights, a good lift. Seems just to be cramping coming off the platform there a little bit. So is the nature of cutting for competitions. Alexander Wei Ru Ang of Singapore, 287.5 kilos, a five kilo jump from his second. Stands it up. And two to one, a good lift. Just gets a depth call from the center referee, which he has done consistently, I believe. But I think it's just the nature in which he squats that makes it look a little bit higher from the front there. Peyton Johnson of the United States, 287.5 kilos. Just like the rest, it's hard, but he's pushing through. Wow, an incredible fight from Peyton Johnson. And unfortunately gets called for downwards movement just in the fight up there. Let's have a look at that. Has a really hard sticking point here. Downwards movement there and then just stands it up like it's nothing. But unfortunately the bar did dip. What a fight. James Lowe of Canada, 287.5, a seven and a half kilo jump from his second. Oh, 
and it's scrappy, but he stands it up. And I think it's good. It is, three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and eighty seven point five kilos for Nathaniel Masayo of Great Britain. A ten kilo jump from his second. It was still moving pretty quick. Let's see what ten extra kilos will do. He's bringing energy to the platform. This is seven and a half kilos above his squat PB. Wow, and it was RP7. What did the referees say? Two to one, a good lift. A depth call from the left-hand side. And that's the side he gets the depth call from, so you can only imagine it looked deeper from the other side, so I think he'll be okay. Malik Bernoussi Triolet of France, 292.5 kilos. And this will move him into squat gold for the time being, with five lifters to follow. Wow, and another great looking third attempt. Three white lights, a good lift. And he is in a good fight for that overall medal with Kalmyk of Ireland. 292.5 kilos for Jonathan Sellis of Belgium. Seven and a half kilo jump to pull him into squat gold. A lot of big squatters here this evening. but unfortunately it's just not there today for Jonathan. Every kilo does matter. As I said before, it is so close here in the 93s. Less than 20 kilos between first and seventh. So one missed lift can mean a lot. 295 kilos for Ian Kulmik of Ireland. A five kilo jump, and this will pull him into squat gold. But more importantly, get him the extra kilos he will need to fight overall for the title. Nice and deep, and he is fighting through it, but it's just not there. Unfortunately, that is a no lift. Two hundred and ninety-five kilos for Nathan Gavau of Great Britain to pull him into squat gold. And keep him in the fight for the podium.
hands it up, and rarely do I see Nathan miss a squat. Three white lights, a good lift. He walks away with, at very least, squat bronze there. And those kilos are going to count. Two hundred and ninety-seven point five kilos for Yu Long Lee of Sweden. A seven and a half kilo jump from his second. His second looked better than his opener. Let's see what his third looks like. And he fights through it, manages to stand it up. Three white lights, it's a good lift for Yu Long Lee. Moves into squat gold with just one lifter remaining. Three hundred kilos for Shane Nutt of the United States. A ten kilo jump from his second to pull him into squat gold and keep him in the fight for overall podium. And he's pushing through. He is so close, but unfortunately, it's just a bit too much. He was so close to getting through that sticking point, but it's just not there today for him. And that concludes our squat for this evening's session. Very quickly, we have Yulong Lee of Sweden walking away with squat gold. Nathan Gavau of Great Britain walking away with squat silver. And Malik Benoussi Triolet of France walking away with squat bronze. We're gonna head into a 10 minute break now for before bench press. Don't go anywhere.
The bench press is the second movement performed in a powerlifting competition. It's a movement that many uses upper body strength. A slight back arch is authorized and allows for a stronger and healthier shoulder positioning. Laying down on the bench, the athlete has to create points of contact between his head, shoulder, glutes and the bench. His feet has to lay flat on the ground with the heels in the contact with the floor. Once that position is locked, the central referee gives the start command. The lifter lowers the bar until it touches his chest. The lower underside of both of his elbow joints have to be at level or below the top surface of each shoulder joint. He then has to stabilize the bar for the referee to give him the press command. The lifter has to push the bar back up until the complete extension of his elbows. The central referee gives the rack command and the lift is completed. There are four main reasons to have a no lift on that movement. First, if you're not able to fully extend your elbows at the beginning and at the end of the movement. Second, if you don't touch the chest with the bar or if your elbows don't go at level or below the top of your shoulder joint. Third, if you're not able to maintain all points of contact with the bench, knowing the head, the shoulders and the butt. Fourth, if the lift isn't completed in a single upward movement. Hello and welcome back to the 2023 IPF World Classic Sub-Junior and Junior Powerlifting Championships here in Cluj-Napoca, Romania, the heart of Transylvania. I'm Amelia Potter and this evening for you we have the 93 kilo men consisting of two flights of lifters. First flight of 13, the following flight of 15. We now move into bench press. And kicking us off, we have Jean-Philippe Hyde of Belgium, opening with 130 kilos. And half of the time has gone. He just needs to start command before the time runs out. So as long as he doesn't need to re-rack, he should be fine. Gets the start command with 11 seconds to spare. And it's a little bit scrappy, but he manages to lock it out. And three white lights, it is a good lift. Hundred thirty five kilos from Mustafa Zaran of Egypt. Very heavy on the chest there. But locks it now, three white lights, a good lift. And that's gonna be harder to control off of the chest and get the power to do so as it gets heavier. Yeah, a little bit sticky, but he's okay for now, looks good. 140 kilos for Casimir Porten of Finland.
A nice soft touch there and a speedy opener. Rewind lights a good lift. One hundred and forty five kilos for Shoyo Kaneko of Japan. That's nice and easy and a good lift. Typically, bench is the most technical of the three lifts and therefore leaves the most room for error, which is exactly why you want your opener to be something nice and easy that you know you can do any day of the week and should you need to repeat it, that you can. 147.5 kilos for Ricardo Palacios of Mexico. Two and a half kilos below his best, which is a bit more normal to see with athletes who've been competing for around about a year. Just got told to re-rack there as his arms weren't straight. Still got 10 seconds to go. Four seconds to get the start command. Gets it with one second to go. And probably a bit more work than he, he wanted it to be, but did have to do it in a rush. And unfortunately, it's a no lift. Gets a yellow from either side, which usually indicates that there was some butt lift. We can't see from this angle, but we're gonna have to trust the side referees there. And the jury seem to agree. One hundred and fifty five kilos for July Andras of Hungary. Just got the wrong rack height there. They're just fixing that for the lifter. And they reset the clock as it is the fault of the platform crew, not of the lifter. If the lifter wants it changed at the last minute, but it's in as something else, the clock will continue to tick down. But if it is the fault of the spotters and loaders, then the minute will restart. like an empty bar. Let's rewatch that as we wait for the lights here. Can't imagine there's too much wrong with that. And it is a good lift. There's a light and a dark side that comes with the advancements of, advancements of technology. We move on now to Tomas Martinek of Czechia, 160 kilos.
his very quick instructions to the head spotter there for how he wants his hand out given. Some lifters are more picky than others in which how they have the hand out given. Thomas does not seem picky. And that is a good lift. <laughs> Mustafa John Altintas of Turkey, opening on 160 kilos. Nice and easy. Three white lights, a good lift. <laughs> Erland Christensen of Norway opens on 167.5 kilos. As usual, the Norwegians excel at bench press. Looks nice and smooth. And it is a good lift. We have four openers remaining before we move through to the second round of lifts. We will watch all of these lifters before we move to the second flight. Woi Jin Sia of Singapore, 167.5 kilos for his opening attempt. Nice and quickly. Three white lights, a good lift, and exactly how you want an opener to move. Should he have to re rack that or retake it for whatever reason, it's clearly a weight he's comfortable with. Sean Ismura Gillard of Thailand opens on 170 kilos. Just 10 kilos below his bench press PB. That is nice and smooth. Three white lights, a good lift. You can see he has a nice high rib cage. Very technical bencher. One hundred and seventy five kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. Three red plates aside. Just five kilos below his bench press BB. Just 
20 seconds to get the start command. And that is a good lift. You see some lifters adopt a soft touch technique where they just rest very gently the bar on their chest. And here you can see John adopting more of a sinking technique where they let the bar sink into their chest. 180 kilos for Mario Montano Camacho of Spain. The world junior record stands at 215 kilos held by Gavin Aiden. This is two and a half kilos below his PB. And it's moving well. That is a good lift. One hundred and thirty five kilos for Jean Philippe Hyde of Belgium, a five kilo jump from his opener. Oh, and it is work and a good catch from the spotters and loaders. Just couldn't quite get through that sticking point there. You can see here he is pushing and pushing until it just drops. The fall off point for bench can be so hard and fast sometimes. That's why sometimes smaller jumps are very sensible. Like Mustafa Zaran of Egypt jumping two and a half kilos to 137.5. This is the smallest increment you can jump unless it is for a record. And on this stage, it would have to be for a world record. And manages to lock it out. And it is two to one, a good lift. It's a yellow call from the side referee. Let's see if we can catch what that was there. So a yellow could have been for that a lift of the glute or for sinking the bar into the chest after getting the start command. 147.5 kilos for Ricardo Palacios of Mexico. Missed it on his opener. Looking to come back and get it now on his second. That looked far better than his opener. Let's see what the referees say. Three white lights, a good lift, and he has a bench on the board. For those of you at home newer to powerlifting, you have nine lifts, three squats, three benches, three deadlifts, and you need at least one of each. Otherwise, you cannot post a total overall. You can, however, continue to compete, and you can compete for individual medals but not claim a total or any world records. Casimir Portin of Finland jumps 10 kilos to 150 for a second attempt. When it's a push. Three white lights, a good lift. A little bit scrappy, but he manages to get it up and get a good lift. Mm -hmm. 
Shoya Kaneko of Japan jumped seven and a half kilos to 152.5 to match his bench press PB. Should he get this? And it's effort. But it is three white lights, a good lift. Expecting to see a slightly smaller jump towards his third there, but makes really good work of his second. His first flight of lifters have done really well to avoid elbow depth calls, which we've seen a lot this championships with everybody managing to get a bench on the board. July Andras of Hungary, 162.5 kilos. And that looks nice and tidy, a nice high chest. Three white lights, a good lift. A really nice place to be heading into a third. With room to spare. You don't want to reach your top end just on your second. And definitely not on your opener. A seven and a half kilo jump for Tomas Martinek of Czechia. 167.5 kilos for his second attempt, and he's wasting no time getting onto that platform. Yeah. Oh, and it is a tough lockout. But locks it out nonetheless, and it is a good lift. As I said before, we will see the ranks of the bench press jump around, but until we've seen both flights of lifters complete all three lifts, we won't know where that ends up. One hundred and seventy kilos from Mustafa John Altintas of Turkey. A ten kilo jump. Uses the bar to set up there with his back. Which is an interesting approach. I've not seen that before. And it's hard work but it is a good lift. And although bench presses are hard to push through and grind, harder than squats and deadlifts usually, we do see people who sometimes excel at this, although it does tend to be rarer. 175 kilos for Erland Christensen of Norway. It is effort that leaves a tiny bit of room to head into his third. I wouldn't take too much of a big jump, though, if he wants to collect as many kilos as he can. It's a good lift. You can tell when a, lift is get a lifter is getting near their top end when the lockouts become harder and harder. 177.5 kilos for Wei Jin Xia of Singapore. A 10 kilo jump.
And two to one, a good lift. And the first elbow depth call we've seen so far. Just watch this left elbow. That's the side that gets the call. But I think he's absolutely fine. It's quite hard to call from the positions that the side referees sit in sometimes. Sean Ismara Gillard, Thailand, 177.5 kilos. Seven and a half kilo jump. Still looking nice and strong. And it is a good lift. John Vertel of the Netherlands, 180 kilos. Just using the rack to help him get his shoulders set there. Just showing an example of how technical some benches can be. Still moving pretty well there, actually. But unfortunately, two to one, a no lift. Gets a yellow from each side referee, which makes me think that perhaps his glutes lifted off the bench. And I can see his hips move there. We can't see the glutes, unfortunately, but the jury seem to agree. Mario Montano Camacho of Spain, 187.5 kilos for his second attempt before we move through to the third and final attempts of this first flight of lifters. And with room left in the tank, it seems a good lift. A great place to be on your second. That definitely was not a hardest looking second attempt. And you can see where they are standing currently as we head into third attempt. Mario Montano Camacho is definitely in a shot of a medal overall in bench. We'll have to wait and see what the next flight of lifters do following third attempts before we can know for sure. Jean-Philippe Hyde of Belgium, 135 kilos. Didn't get it on his second, is looking to get those five extra kilos here on his third. It's hard work, and unfortunately, he shakes his head. Not quite there for him today, unfortunately. Yeah, one arm just pushing up harder than the other there, it seems. 140 kilos for Mustafa Zaran of Egypt. Another two and a half kilo jump to his third. And unfortunately, just a bit too heavy today. 
I did mention on his first, the technique he uses where he sinks heavily into his chest. As the weight gets higher, it is harder to then find that power off of the chest. We can see that there in his third. 152.5 kilos for Ricardo Palacios of Mexico. Five kilo jump from his second after retaking his missed first attempt. Gets the start command. And unfortunately, just can't break that sticking point in the middle there. Casimir Borden of Finland, 155 kilos. And it is tough, but he locks it out. Three white lights, a good lift, and a strong end to bench press for Porton. We have just nine lifts remaining before heading through to the next flight of 93s. First up, we have Shuya Kaneko of Japan. 157.5 kilos, a five kilo jump from his second. Unfortunately, just a little bit too heavy today. Jule <laughs> Andras of Hungary jumps seven and a half kilo to 170 for his third and final attempt on bench. His energy is high. And a very well picked third attempt there it seems. Three white lights, a good lift. Definitely towards the top end there. One hundred and seventy two point five kilos for Thomas Martinek of Czechia. Five kilo jump from his second. And it is a fight and one he does not win today, unfortunately. That is a no lift. Oh 
Mustafa John Altendaz of Turkey jumps two and a half kilo to 172.5. And he pushes through. He shakes side to side. And two to one, it is a good lift. Gets a yellow call from the left-hand side referee. And I can't see any sort of lifting there, so I think he'll be okay. Oh, he's not, unfortunately. The jury has overruled it, and they do have all of the camera angles and are here live in person. That is a no lift at Alton Tass, unfortunately. Erland Christensen of Norway, 177.5 kilos for his third and final attempt. A two and a half kilo jump from his second. Can he break through that? He is fighting, he has everything he's got, but unfortunately not quite there. And that right hand spotter caught it just before it hit his chest, luckily. Jin Sia of Singapore, 180 kilos, a two and a half kilo jump from his second, and just 0.5 kilos below his bench press PB, which I imagine is a national record in Singapore. And a lovely looking third. Three white lights, a good lift. Perfect call there from Team Singapore. You definitely want to try and get as many kilos as possible, but emptying the tank before deadlift is also not a good idea. Sean Isamura Gillard of Thailand, 182.5 kilos. Five kilo jump from his second. And a very smooth looking third attempt. Two to one, a good lift. Gets a yellow from the left hand side referee. Again, we can't really tell from that angle, but the jury will review it. But they seem to be happy that is a good lift. 185 kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. Missed 180 on his second as he lifted his glutes off of the bench. Upped it five kilos anyway. Let's see if he can get this on his third. One arm locks out at a time. But the bar does not move down. It is a good lift and the risk was worth it. And you can hear the battle cries of Mario Montano Camacho of Spain. 
as he gets ready to attempt 192.5 kilos. Five kilo jump from his second. And puts himself in the best position possible to perhaps medal and bench. But we'll have to wait to see what the second flight do. And does really well to stay through that as it tips backwards and forwards, but I don't think it goes down. Oh, unfortunately, two to one, a no lift. The referees on either side disagree with me. Let's look at the replay. And the jury seems to agree with that decision, but the coach will run to them anyway to ask. And that concludes the first flight of bench. The Spanish lifters will not get turned over to a good lift. It will remain 187.5. And we move now to Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy, 157.5 kilos. Nice and easy, a good lift. One hundred and sixty kilos for Enrico Provato of Italy, Just ten kilos below his bench press PB. looking opener and a good lift as I said before the openers are not a place we want to see fights or drama we want nice easy lifts so in an ideal word, world all you'll hear from me is three white lights a good lift and let's hope that is the case for Alexander Wai Ru Ang of Singapore opening on 162 0.5 kilos, which is two and a half kilos below his bench press PB. Very impressive to do for somebody who's been competing for seven years already. Look drama free, and it was three white lights, a good lift. <laughs> Shane Nutt of the United States opening on 165 kilos. It moved well, and it is a good lift. 15 kilos below his bench press PB. Peyton Johnson of the United States opening 165 kilos, five kilos below his bench press PB of 170 and is really impressive he's only been competing for actually less than one year 
and already fighting up and amongst it the top 93s here today. And it is a hard opener, but he locks it out. And two to one, a good lift. Gets a yellow from the side referee. And yeah, it does look like his glutes lift off the bench there. But did enough remain in contact for it to be okay. The jury are overlooking it. But first, Matt Sylvie of New Zealand, 165 kilos. And that was nice and easy. 10 kilos below his bench press PB and a good lift. And 70 kilos for Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain. Five kilos below his bench press PB. He got the rack command there. Two to one, a no lift. I think it just fell back into the rack there as he locked it out. But it's whether the jury think he got the command. No, nope, it's going to stay as a no lift for Nathaniel. We have Iron Kalmuk of Ireland, 175 kilos for his opening attempt. And a very smooth opener for Kalmyk. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and seventy five kilos for Semir Aguen of Germany. Seven and a half kilos below his bench press PB. Nice and easy for him. Three white lights, a good lift. <laughs> 175 kilos remains on the bar for Jonathan Azelstein of Canada for his opening attempt opening on his current bench press PB. Again, very impressive for an athlete who's been competing for seven years. It's a little bit tricky there at the lockout. But he gets it. Three white lights, a good lift. 
And I'm hoping it wasn't strength issues there because it doesn't leave him many places to go for a second if it was. Just cleaning the bench. Sometimes chalk off of the lifter's back can get clogged up in the bench and make it a little bit slippier for the following lifters. So just giving them every opportunity they can. It can be requested by the coaches or the athletes at any time. We see Nathan waiting in the wings now to go out and get his opening attempt. Nathan Gavau of Great Britain opening on 175 kilos. 10 kilos below his bench press BB. There is seven and a half kilos between projected first and fifth as it stands. Every kilo counts. nice and easy three white lights a good lift for Nathan one hundred and seventy five kilos remains in the bar for James Lowe of Canada is 12 and a half kilos below his bench press PB. And it's moving well. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and seventy-seven point five kilos for Yulong Lee of Sweden. And it looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. Well below his bench press BB of 200.5 kilos. We have our penultimate opener here with Jonathan Sellis of Belgium, 180 kilos. 10.5 kilos below his current bench press PB. And it's looking strong. Three white lights, a good lift. We now move up 25 kilos to our next opening attempt. Malik Bunisi Triolet of France, 205 kilos. Set the sub junior world record at 210 kilos last year. The world junior record is held by Gavin Aiden at 215 kilos currently. And it's looking in danger right now. Three white lights, a good lift.
And that concludes our opening attempts with everybody bar Messiah of Great Britain getting an attempt in. He just skipped the rack command, so he should be fine on his second, should he listen out. Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy, 162.5 kilos. And it moves well. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and sixty seven point five kilos for Enrique Pavato of Italy. Just two and a half kilos below Enrico's current bench press PB. <laughs> and it's still looking good. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and sixty seven point five kilos for Alexander Wei Ru Ang of Singapore, a five kilo jump from his opener. A little bit more work, but it looked good. And it was three white lights. One hundred and sixty seven point five kilos for Peyton Johnson of the United States, jumping two and a half kilos from his opener. And a good call there, I think. Two to one, a good lift. Gets a depth call from the left-hand side. That'll be for elbow depth. So let's have a look at that in the replay. Watch out for that left elbow. And it is a bit higher than that right side. But I think he'll be okay. One hundred and seventy kilos for Shane Nutt of the United States, a five kilo jump. Still looking strong. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and seventy kilos for Matt Sylvie of New Zealand. A five kilo jump. And 
It's nice and steady. Three white lights, a good lift. A very nonchalant lifter. Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain opened in 170 and it moved well, but he just skipped the command right at the end. He's gone up five kilos, matching his bench press PB. Just needs to listen out for the commands this time round. He holds it this time, and it looks much better. Two to one, a good lift. It's a yellow from the right-hand side referee. But I think he's all right. Can't see anything wrong with that there, and the, neither can the jury. It remains a good lift. Ian Kalmick of Ireland, 180 kilos, a five kilo jump from his opener. And still looking strong. Two to one, a good lift. A yellow from the center referee this time round. And I can't see any lift, so wondering if he skipped the command. But it looks good on the replay. 180 kilos for Jonathan Asselstein of Canada. Five kilo jump. and it's hard towards lockout, but he manages to do so. And unfortunately, two to one, a no lift, gets yellow from each of the side referees, which usually indicates there's a lift of sorts. Let's just look here on the replay. And he looks okay from that angle. But perhaps it was for another call there. And it remains a no lift. Semi Aguin, Aguin, sorry, of Germany, 182.5 kilos, a seven and a half kilo jump from his opener, matching his bench press PB. Still looking nice and steady. And that is a good lift. Utilizing the sinking technique really well there. One hundred eighty-two point five kilos for Nathan Gavau of Great Britain, a seven and a half kilo jump from his opener. the start command and it's still moving well three white lights a good lift and puts him in a great position moving into his third attempt one hundred and eighty five kilos for Yu Long Lee of Sweden Jumping seven and a half kilos from his opener. And it looked easy. 
plenty left in the tank there. Three white lights, a good lift. James Lowe of Canada, 185 kilos, a 10 kilo jump from his opener. We have three second attempts left to go before we move into the third and final attempts for the second flight of lifters. And still moving really well for James. It is a good lift. Hundred and eighty seven point five kilos for Jonathan Sellis of Belgium. This would move him into bench press silver heading into third attempts. through it with the power of the mustache. And it is a good lift. Perhaps nearing his top end there, but puts him in a great position with bench press silver. We now have Malik Benussi Triolet of France, jumping 10.5 kilos to his second attempt. And this is for a world junior bench press record on his second attempt and his first year in the juniors. Two hundred and fifteen point five kilos for a new world Junior record bench press. And he does it with ease. We wait. Two to one, a good lift. And that is a new junior world record. He now holds it in the sub juniors and the juniors. And we are only finishing second attempt. So there's only one place for him to go from here on his third. Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy, 167.5 kilos for his third and final attempt. Unfortunately, just a little bit too heavy for him today. <laughs> Alexander Wei Ru of Ang, uh, Ang of Singapore, 170 kilos. A two and a half kilo jump. Very much in the race for podium overall. So every kilo is going to count. He is fighting through that sticking point so well. 
Two to one, a good lift and a perfect final attempt there. The red actually was a mistake by the referee. He gave a thumbs up saying, I meant to give a white light. So actually that's three white lights, a good lift. 170 kilos for Peyton Johnson of the United States to match his bench press PB. I'm afraid to say that is just too heavy for him today. One hundred and seventy two point five kilos for Enrico Provato of Italy, a five kilo jump from his second. A fantastic fight and a perfect call from the Italian team. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and seventy two point five kilos for our most relaxed lifter of the evening, Matt Sylvie of New Zealand. A two and a half kilo jump. And he's fighting through that sticking point. Amazing. What a fantastic effort. But unfortunately, two to one, a no lift gets blues from both the left and right side referee. Let's look at that in the replay. The bar comes to a standstill, and I think just dips on that right hand side, unfortunately. The coach goes to the jury, but is sent away. 175 kilos for Shane Nutt of the United States. A five kilo jump from his second. pushes through it is hard but it is moving wow an incredible effort from Shane and unfortunately two to one a no lift gets a blue from both side referees and it is a tough call the coach goes to the jury table Jonathan Asselstein of Canada 180 kilos missed it on his second is reattempting it now on his third to gain five extra kilos onto his total And he fights it up. I saw his hips shake a little bit, so let's hope he kept them down. Two to one, a good lift. Does get a yellow card from the right-hand side referee. 
And I'm wondering if that is for his... Yeah, it does shake, but it seems to keep contact. So I think he'll be okay. Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain missed 170 on his opener for skipping the command. Still moved well, jumped up five, got it on his second. 180 kilos for his third and final attempt. And for a five kilo bench press PB. And he pushes through and it moves pretty well. But unfortunately, he gets yellows from either side, which usually indicates there's some butt lift. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's small, but it's there. And the jury send the coach away. 185 kilos for Ian Kalmick of Ireland. A five kilo jump from his second. And his coach can barely watch. And unfortunately, it's just a little bit too much for him. And we are not seeing many successful third attempts here. So let's hope we can see a change in that from our next six lifters. First of which, Nathan Gavau of Great Britain, jumping five kilos to 187.5 for his third and final attempt. Currently sat in predicted second overall behind Bernoussi Triolet. We need the extra kilos to stay there. And it's moving. Can he lock it out? Wow. Can he get the right arm? An amazing effort. I don't think the bar went down. Let's see what the referees say. Oh, unfortunately, two to one, a no lift. Gets called for downwards movement from the center and side referee. The coach goes to the jury. Yulong Lee of Sweden, 190 kilos. Moving him into bench press silver. Oh. And he locks it out. Three white lights, a good lift. And unfortunately, Nathan Gavau's bench will not be overturned to a good lift. It remains a no lift. Semi Aiguin of Germany, 190 kilos, seven and a half kilo jump, and this will push him into bench press bronze. With James Lowe of Canada to follow. And it's still moving pretty well there. Three white lights, a good lift. But James Lowe of Canada is lighter, so should he get it, he will take that bronze medal away from him. James Lowe of Canada, 190 kilos, looking to take the bench press bronze. And 
it is a fight. He locks it out. I think that should be good. And it is, he walks away with bench press bronze. Jonathan Sellers of Belgium, 190 kilos remains on the bar, but he is the heaviest of the lifters to take it. So he won't snatch a medal, unfortunately. great fight but it's not there today for him unfortunately we move on to our final bench press attempt and that can only be one person and it can only mean one thing Malik Benusi Triolet of France this would really give him needed extra kilos to separate him a little bit more from the rest of the pack. This would give him a pretty hefty lead heading into deadlifts. Malik Bonusi Triolet of France taking 220.5 kilos for his third and final bench attempt to extend the world junior bench press record by five kilos. And he locks it out with ease. Three white lights and he extends the world junior bench press record to 220.5 kilos. In his first year as a junior. It is unbelievable to think what he will do in his next few years as a junior. We will be taking a 10 minute break before we head into deadlift where we will see everything unfold. Very quickly, we have Malik Bernusi Triolet in bench press gold walking away with a new junior world record. Yulong Lee of Sweden in silver and James Lowe of Canada in bronze. Don't go anywhere. We will see you in 10 minutes for deadlifts.
The deadlift is the last movement of the powerlifting competition. On that movement, the lifter's whole body is used and put to the test. The athlete approaches the bar once the central referee calls bar loaded. He then has one minute to start the lift. In the conventional or sumo position, the athlete has to pull the barbell until his shoulders, hips and knees are fully locked. Once that position is assumed by the lifter, the central referee will give the down command. The bar has to be lowered to the ground without the lifter being allowed to drop it until it touches the floor, which completes the lift. At the end of deadlift, the powerlifting total is made, which determines the winner and final placings. There are four main mistakes to avoid. First, not locking your shoulders, hips or knees at the end of the movement. Second, not completing the lift with a single upward bar movement. Third, completing the lift, hitching at the legs in order to allow you to do so. Fourth, dropping the bar after the central referee down command. Hello and welcome back to the 2023 IPF World Classic Sub-Junior and Junior Powerlifting Championships here in Cluj Dampoca, Romania. I'm Amelia Potter, now joined by Xavier, international referee. Thank you for joining me here on Deadlifts. Thank you, it is a pleasure, of course. And for you this evening, we have the 93 kilo juniors. It will be two flights. First of 13, the second of 15, and it is going to be very, very exciting. We have seen some very strong young men this evening for you. What do you think, Xavier? Yes, uh, we, it is not the first year we, uh, we see this lifter, but it is stronger and stronger. And I am surprised. I am uh, the treasurer of the French uh, Federation, and it was with pleasure I see uh, good progress for this lifter. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. We head into the first deadlift or the first flight of 93s. And kicking us off, we have Mustafa Zaran of Egypt. Yes. With 222.5 kilos. Yes, we have a big category with uh, 28 lifters in this category. And many countries, many countries are uh, participate to this uh, championship. It is a big pleasure to see uh, the powerlifting growing and growing more and more. Yeah, amazing to see new countries come in every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets up quickly, a little bit of trouble at lockout, but it is a good lift, yeah. three white lights. And it is a new personal best for him. So, good first, uh, good first attempt, yes. <laughs> yeah, clearly made some yeah, progress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 225 kilos for Shoya Kaneko of Japan. We know Japan uh, with uh, bench press because many, many lifters are very strong uh, in bench press in Japan. But from uh, some year, we found more and more lifters in uh, powerlifting from Japan. And it is good. It is good. That looked really strong. Yes, easy. Ah, one right night. I don't know why. Yeah, that'd be for insufficient lockout from the left hand side. So I if we look at the replay, I guess. I suppose. Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's good to have you here, obviously, as an international referee to yes. get your opinion here on yes. the lifts. I'm not surprised, yes. One, one red light, but good lift, of course. You have Mustafa John Altinzis, sorry, of Turkey Air, 240 kilos. Has been competing for less than one year. Easy. Yeah, and doing really well. Yeah, it's a yeah. good lift. Yeah, Turkey is a new country in uh, IPF uh, from three, four years, I suppose. Yeah, and we've some, seen some really strong athletes come out yeah, there so yeah, far. Yeah, very strong athletes. Uh, they have organized uh, 
two World Championships. Uh, next year, they organize the European Championship. So he's a strong lifter and good organizer. So yeah. it is very good for powerlifting, World Federation and European Federation. Thank you, Turkey. Casimir Porton of Finland, 245 kilos. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see new countries getting involved in all aspects. Yes. Three white lights, like. a good lift. Two hundred and fifty kilos for July Andras of Hungary. He wants some energy from the crowd here. Looks nice and strong. And three white lights, a good lift. A really nice looking opener for him there. Thomas Martiniak of Czechia, 250 kilos for his opening attempt. 22 and a half kilos below his deadlift PB. It is the last year for him for uh, junior category. So we hope he will progress for uh, open category. It's not enough. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Three white lights, a good yes, lift. Good lift. <laughs> now Belgium. 260 kilos for Jean-Philippe Hyde of Belgium, as you said. Thirteen kilos below his deadlift PB, which I imagine is a record in Belgium. I suppose. But you know, in Belgium, you have <coughs> uh, a record from uh, uh, Wallon and uh, a record from Flamand. It's not the same. <laughs> and you have record of Belgium, it is all together. It is not, <laughs> not simple. <laughs> Three white lights, yes. Good lift for him. Yes, of course, it could be a regional record or an overall record, as you say. Thailand now, new country. New country in the world of powerlifting. Yeah, as you said, pretty new, a couple years maybe. Yeah, a couple Thailand. years, no more, yes. Sean Zamura Gillard of Thailand, 270 kilos for his opening attempt. <laughs> the coach uh, is not from Thailand, I suppose. <laughs> no, the coach is Irish, I believe. <laughs> Head coach of yeah, Thailand. Yeah. No referee for, from Thailand for the moment, but uh, I'm sure in one year or two years they will have some referee. And that is yes. a good lift. Three white light, yes. <laughs> Norway, now Norway. Erland Christensen of Norway, 275 yes. kilos, five red plates aside. We know Norway from a big, uh, strong lifter in equipped. A very, very big country in equipped, but uh, more and more from some year, more and more lifter in classic. So they continue equipped and classic. It is good. It is good for power lifting. Yes, easy. Yeah, that looked like a really yeah, nice yeah, opener. Yes, yes. And it is a good lift. Yes, pretty white light. Singapore, also a new country. Many new country now in this uh, world championship. Yeah, wonderful to see the sport grow. 
Wei Jin Sia of Singapore, 275 kilos. Many lifters from Singapore in this championship. Yeah, and they're doing very well as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit harder off the ground, but manages to lock it out. Oh, I suppose, yes, yes. And very wide line. Yeah, and sumo usually is a little bit harder off the ground than conventional, typically. Yeah. But you are rewarded with a snappier lockout, as you see here. Yeah, it's good. Now, Spain. Mario Montano Camacho of Spain, 277.5 kilos. Also a big country for power for powerlifting in Spain. That was really easy. Yeah, yeah, it's real white life. <laughs> Plenty of space to grow there into his second. Mexico. Ricardo Palacios, 280 kilos from Mexico. Yes. Two kilo point five under his personal best, so I suppose a big jump for the second uh, <laughs> lift. Easy and three white claw, yes. <laughs> and now it is the uh, last first attempt in this first group with Netherlands. As you said, the final attempt before moving into seconds. 280 kilos yes. with John Vertel of the Netherlands. Yeah. With the coach, we know, everybody knows the coach from Nederlanda. Mr. Piotr, it is an EC member of uh, International World Federation. And he is member of uh, the Lifter Commission. Oh, very, very easy. And that is a good yes, lift, three yes. white lights. But his, his personal best is 300 kilos, so no problem for him at this uh, lift. Yeah, opening nice and conservative to make sure you get a deadlift on and secure yes. that total. Yes, the coach of Netherlands, don't make mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes our opening attempts with all lifters managing to get a deadlift on the board yeah, yeah. which is fantastic to see it means they've secured themselves a total and can grow and build from here we now have mustafa zaran of egypt 237.5 kilos jumping 15 kilos from his opener Yes, three white like. And Chip is uh, a, long, uh, a long time uh, member uh, from uh, IPF, but they never come to World Championship, only African Championship. Each time they go to the uh, they go to African Championship, but interesting. In World uh, Championship, it is a uh, new and it is good, of course. A uh, 25 kilo jump for Shoya Kaneko of Japan. Yes. 250. So for the moment, uh, no bomb. Everybody uh, win one lift, so it's good. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, still moving really nicely. <laughs> and two to one, a good he's lift. It's the same. It's the same referee. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think there, then? Do you think it's a? He gets a red light for the insufficient lockout, yeah, but yes. it's a good lift. Yes, of course. 250 kilos for Mustafa John Altentas of Turkey. Eh? Turkey, yes. Little bit hard there, struggling with the lockout. 
Now got twelve. We missed wage for a three. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately gets blues for hitching, for assisting on the legs there, I think. Yeah, yes, just about there. Down. A little down, but uh, it's not good. Good way for it. 260 kilos for Casimir Porton of Finland. This is a new personal best. 10 kilo. A young lifter, 20, 21 years, two years competing, so certainly many progress in the future. Still looking strong there. Ooh. Not perfect, but good, yes. I'm not surprised. One or nine, yes. But two white lights, so it's yes, a good it's lift. Good. It's good. Let's look at that in the replay. <laughs> I think the blue was for supporting there in the yeah. middle, but I think you'll be okay. For me, it is red. No blue. Okay. So Hungary now. July Andreas of Hungary, 265, mm. a 15 kilo jump from his opener. Yeah, 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 good. It's a pretty good size jump there. His, his personal best is 280, so. Yes, he's it. Yeah, and I expect another big jump towards his third there. Mm. It's a good lift. Yes. Jean-Philippe Hyde of Belgium, 272.5 kilos. Just half a kilo below yes. his record. <laughs> yes. So very close. So I suppose at a certain attempt, it is a attempt for a new Belgium record, I suppose. But for the moment, he must succeed this lift. It is the last year of a junior category. Breaks the ground, manages to lock it out. I think it's good. Yes, three white light. So, certainly a new national record at the next attempt. Now we continue with Cheka. Thomas Martinek, 275 kilos, a 25 kilo jump from his opener. Cheka. Everybody knows Cheka. Many, many organizations. Many, many organizations. Yeah, lots European, of lifters as well. Yes, yes. European Championship, World Championship. And very good spotter. <laughs> very good spotter in Cheka. Yeah. And three white lights, that's yes. a good lift. It's very good. Thailand now. Two hundred and eighty five kilos for Sean Isamura Gillard, Thailand. Fifteen kilo jump from his opener. Just five kilos below his deadlift PB. Yes. 22 years. Yeah, so one more year left in the yes, juniors. Exactly. Still really quick. Yes, very quick. Very easy and good lift, three white like. Yeah, I imagine another big jump there to his third. He's got lots of room left in the tank. Wei Jin Sia of Singapore, 287.5 kilos, a 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. 
And two kilo point five is personal best. Yeah, just below that now. If I remember, the first attempt was not so easy, if I remember. Oh, <laughs> I think you do remember. <laughs> yes, I think I do remember, yes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, just completely slipped off the bar there, so his grip actually went before anything else. Yes. Just seems a bit too heavy uh, for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has another attempt, of course. Erland Christensen of Norway, 290 kilos, a 15 kilo jump from his opener. Still looks good, and three white lights, a good lift. Okay, now we start the third attempt of this group. I think we have three more second attempts before we start the third attempts. And then we'll go into the next round. So we have Mario Montano Camacho of Spain, 290 kilos for his second attempt. If I remember correctly, I think his opener was really easy. Yes. Yes, also easy. Also easy. Still waiting for one referee light there, but I'll be surprised if it's anything but good. We wait anyway. <laughs> Three white lights, a good lift, just as we thought. We have always a problem with the same referee. <laughs> 292.5 kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. Yes, I remember. The first attempt was very, very easy. Yeah, and this is 12 and a half kilos up from that. Yes, it is to secure the, to secure the deadlift now. It is a, uh, and, and <laughs> yeah, not so easy. Yeah, I had a little trouble holding it at the top. Yeah, yeah, I agree with the referee. Yeah. Uh, yeah they are the coach, uh, the coach don't climb. He gets a red from the center referee and the blue from the left-hand side, just yes. dropping there a at the top. A little down and uh, no lock. We have our final second attempt before moving through to third attempts. Ricardo yeah. Palacios of Mexico, jumping Mexico, 15 yes. kilos, 295. Well above his deadlift PB of 282.5. Young lifter, only one year competing. A little bit slower at lockout, but he no, still manages good. it. For me, it's good. Yes, very white light, perfect. Okay, now it's third attempt. Yeah, and with that, we move through to the third attempts. Once we've seen all of these lifters lift their third attempts, we'll go straight through to the next flight of lifters, where we'll see who gets crowned the 93 kilo junior world champion. Kicking yes. us off, we have Mustafa Zaran of Egypt, 245 kilos. A new personal best for him. Oh, 13 years competing. <laughs> He start at six years. <laughs> I think it is a mistake. <laughs> I think, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> Manages to lock it out. Yes. And it's a good lift. Yeah, maybe that is a mistake. Six is quite early to start, but 
You know, some people why do. Not? Why yeah, not? why not? It's no bad age to start. <laughs> Mustafa John Altintas of Turkey Air, 250 kilos. He missed it on his second, looking to retake it now on his third. Mm. Five kilos more? No, no, it's the same. It is the same way. Mm. loses balance yeah. there. No, no. Okay, now Finland. Your new personal best. 10 kilos more. Yeah, absolutely. Casimir ported. Finland. A little country, but many lifters. Yeah, lots of strong lifters from yeah, Finland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Portin is no exception. Attempting 270 here on his final deadlift. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. This will give him a 650 kilo total. But not on the podium. No. <laughs> not enough for the podium. Good fight. He locks it out and he drops it. I think there no. was some hitching yeah, before yeah. that anyway, unfortunately. A great effort, though. Mm. We now have Shoya Kaneko of Japan, 275 kilos, jumping another 25 kilos to a third and final attempt for those five red plates aside. The second was easy still. He jumped another 25. Let's see how this moves yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. 50 kilo between the first and the last attempt. <laughs> it's a big jump. <laughs> Very big jump for Junior. He lets out a scream, but unfortunately, it's just too much of a jump for him today. Yeah. Jale Andras of Hungary now. Jumps 15 kilos to 280 for his third and final attempt. And he wants energy from the crowd and he gives it to them. A big final pull. He breaks the ground, but it's no. just too, too heavy, heavy today. Too heavy. And he bows to the crowd yeah. as he walks off. And now Belgium. We suppose for a new national record. 280 kilo for Jean-Philippe. Just rolls the bar forwards there a little bit.
making sure his feet are set and ready for this big pull. It will be a seven kilo PB for him. Just needs to get the down command before the time runs out. Wow, and it is moving, no, but... No, 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 no. No. Yeah, just too heavy for him today, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Big five, but sorry, not lift. Two hundred and eighty five kilos for Thomas Martinek of Czechia, a ten kilo jump for his third and final attempt. And a new personal best, ten kilo more. Just too heavy Not for him today, today unfortunately. <laughs> so Singapore now. <laughs> Only one year competing. Yeah, very strong. Yeah, 290 kilo, uh, personal best. Weijin Sia of Singapore, 287.5, missed it on his second, and he just struggled to get it off the floor, really. It was quite heavy, retaking it now for his third. No, no, no. no. But the same issue, unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> too heavy. Yeah. Too heavy. Once something's too heavy, you can't really change much after that. But uh, at the end, for the moment, it is 18 place. It's not bad. It's not bad for a new lifter, yes. Remember, we have uh, 28 lifters in this category. Yeah, it's a very yeah, stacked yeah. class. Yeah, 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 yeah. John Vertel of the Netherlands retaking 292.5 kilos. Did not get it on his second. Reattempting it now it on his too third. Heavy, too heavy at the second, so... We will see in one minute. Yeah, I think he just struggled at lockout last time round. Mm. That's the same, exactly the same of the second attempt. Well, I don't know why. Yeah, unfortunately not there today for him. Now uh, have Sean Isamura Gillard yes. of Thailand. Seems to be struggling at lockout there. Did he get it? I don't know. Two no. to one, a no, low no, lift. No, no, no. Yeah, we thought just a little bit difficult at the lockout there. Says uh, the coach got to claim, but I'm no. No lift. <laughs> mm. 300 kilos of Mario Montano Camacho of Spain. A 10 kilo jump from his second. It'll be a 10 kilo PB for him. Should he get this? They've been moving well. If I remember, second attempt was easy. 
And the third attempt is also easy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Three white flag. Yeah, that is a good lift. Great way to the end of the day. Ricardo Palacios of Mexico now. He jumps five kilos to 300 kilos on his final attempt. He requests some energy from the room. Yeah. Locking it out, he manages to lock it out. Let's see what the referees yeah, say. For me, for me, it's good. Ooh, unfortunately, a red from the right-hand side and a blue from the left-hand side referee. What do you think, Xavier? Yeah, it's for me, it's good. The jury One. don't seem to be discussing it, however. Yeah, no, no, no discussion. So. 305 kilos for Erland Christensen of Norway before we move through to our second and final yes. flight of lifters. A 15 Sorry. kilo jump from his second. Not here, he has a problem and in squat. 75 kilo in squat. So. Yeah, he did have a light squat and only came out for his first okay. one. So perhaps an injury that just yeah, pertains to squat. Yeah, certainly, yes. But uh, good uh, in deadlift. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very, very good. I don't know what's the jewel, but it good deadlift. Uh, very strong. It is five uh, kilo under his personal best. Yeah, five kilo over his personal best. So this will be four or five kilo PB. Hmm. Come on now, eh? Come on. And he breaks the ground, is fighting. Wow, a great effort, no, but no. just. Sorry, too heavy. Yeah, not there today for him, unfortunately. Okay, now we start the second session. Yeah, we move straight through to the second fight of lifters where we will discover who walks away with what medal. And it is close towards the top, but looks like Bernoussi Triolet of France has got a significant lead as it stands. And that is the final totals for that first flight of lifters. We move now to the second flight of lifters, and this is subject to change, of course. Yeah. And kicking us off, we have James Lowe of Canada with 250 kilos. Not enough for the podium. Six years competing. Yes, yeah, very easy. So, no bomb. Yeah, that is a good lift. And as you said, he secures himself a yes, total. Yes, yes, yes. Belgium now, Jonathan Selis from Belgium. Two hundred and seventy-five kilos for Jonathan. So for the moment, it is a cert certain place. Not enough for the podium. And oh, it's nice very and easy. easy. Yes, nice. Perfect. And a good lift. Yeah, it's well Three worth opening flight. light because you want to secure that total yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you can jump big, you know, you can grow and build from there. But there's no point in opening too heavy and putting yourself at risk on the last hurdle. And that looked good. We move now to Enrico Provato of Italy. 280 kilos for his opening attempt.
Oh, Very yeah. easy. <laughs> oh, yes. And that's a perfect example of yes. what I was just talking about there. Exactly. Just waiting for that left-hand side referee and three white lights, a good lift. No, Canada now. Jonathan Asselstein of Canada, 280 kilos. Three white lights, a good yeah, lift. Now we continue with uh, Germany. Yeah, just finishing the replay there. 290 kilos for Semi Aiguin of Germany. Yes. Yeah, nice and easy there. Secures Very quick. his total. And three white lights. And now, Bernouzi, Triole, Malik. We now have Malik yes. Bernouzi, Triole of France, 295 kilos. For the gold medal position in total. Yeah, currently leading, if he gets this, with an 808 kilo total. Yes, yes. It is not uh, the lift of the gold medal, but, oh. Yeah, nice and easy Very there. Very easy. Three yes. white lights, a good lift. No bias from you, oh, of course, yes. Javier. <laughs> No stress now, all is okay. <laughs> now, of course, and you're rooting yeah. for all of the lifters equally, I'm sure. But we must wait, we must wait. We have Yulong Lee of Sweden opening on 300 kilos even. Still with in the race. With a big uh, personal best. Very big personal best. Yeah, his personal best is 330.5. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah, really nice there. Secures his total as he's currently projected second overall as it stands. Okay, now we are very, very strong lifter. And he's not finished. <laughs> yes, it's good. We now have Iron Kalmek of Ireland opening just five kilos below his deadlift PB with 305 kilos. Mm. And there will be a tight race for podium between a lot of yeah, lifters yeah, yeah. here. That's nice and easy. Three white lights, a yes. good lift, and plenty of room in the tank. Yes, easy. No discussion. We okay. now have Shane Nutt of the United States opening on 305 kilos with a big deadlift PB of 340. Shane's been competing for eight years. Yeah, yeah. With a personal best with 340 kilo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. So easy, yes. Secures himself a total. And three white lights, a good lift. And that's really what you want to do with your deadlift opener, just secure that total. Yeah. Great Britain now. We now have Nathan Gavau of Great Britain, 305 kilos. 
for the bronze medal position in total. And, uh, why not? Yeah, definitely in mm. the race. Yeah, yes. It depends, of course, on the, on the next attempt. But he could be on the podium. If it is very easy. And it, it looks is. pretty easy, yeah. It is. It is very easy and very quick, so. Oh. 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 There's two what blues there. What do you yeah, think yeah. that's for, Xavier? I see the replay. The ball down. Oh, yes, yes. It seemed like the for bar me, didn't drop. For me, it's good. For me, it's good. Yeah, I think it seems like the bar just settled. The coach no. goes to the jury and we'll keep you updated. But for now, no, the jury say no lift. Luca Umberto and Grisano of Italy, 307.5. Yes, I don't know. For me, it's good. Italy. Italy. <laughs> Very easy also. And that is a good lift. But not enough for the podium, you know. And I think with Nathan's, it was just so quick yeah. as well. Sometimes you get a bit of a speed wobble. And unfortunately, it wasn't you on the jury, so it wasn't overturned. Mm. We now have Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain opening on 310 kilos. This is a big opening attempt. But not our biggest. We have three lifters following. Yeah. And that was nice and quick for Nathaniel. And three yeah. white lights, a good lift. We have a big uh, fight for the gold medal, for the podium in deadlift. But not the same lifter for the podium in total. Alexander Wei Ru Ang of Singapore, 315 kilos for oh, his opener. You see the personal best? Yeah, a huge personal best oh. of 350. Oh. The world junior record currently sits at 355. If we see that uh, in uh, 10 minutes, it will be, uh, I'm very happy. In junior category, uh, 93 kilos. It was 5 kilos under the. <laughs> World record. Yeah, it was really yes, easy. Go. Wow. Blink and you yes, miss it. We must wait. I imagine he'll take I a big I jump there. I am waiting for the second attempt of this uh, lifter. And we still have two openers yeah. left. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have Matt Sylvie of New Zealand opening on 317.5 kilos. A big opening attempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough for the podium in total, but uh, very nice for the podium in deadlift. Oh, very, very easy, but yes, he, he down before the signal of the referee. Yeah, just needs to listen out better uh, next yes. time. Strength clearly but isn't uh, an issue. If you see on the replay, very easy, very good luck. Yeah, very good. Uh, plop. Yeah, he just Before tips over, <laughs> loses balance. He don't wait the uh, referee signal. We now have our but heaviest uh, opener before we move through to our second attempt. Peyton Johnson of the United States, 327.5 kilos. And his personal best, 352 kilo point five, two kilo sank, two, uh, 2.5 kilo. Yeah. from the world record. So I, perhaps we have a new world record in deadlift. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, yes, in 20 minutes, perhaps we have a new world record. <laughs> I hope for the sport. Three white lights, a good yes. lift. And it wasn't super speedy, yeah, but his squats yeah, yeah, weren't yeah. either. So maybe that's just how he lifts. And that concludes our opening attempts. It's worth mentioning, as you said, the world record is 355 yes. in the juniors. And that belongs to Christoph Wiesbicki of Poland. It's from Poland. Yes. Oh, okay. And that was from 2013. So it's been a long you know, standing. You see, I'm sure we have a new world record in 20 minutes. Well, we'll have to see. It'll be very <laughs> exciting. Yes.
We move to second attempts and we have James Lowe of Canada, 270 kilos, a 20 kilo jump from his opener. So you have two fights. We have the fight for the gold medal in total and we have the fight for the gold medal in deadlift. Two different fights. Very excited. And it slows down, but he does manage to lock it out. Yes, three white light, good lift. One hundred eighty-five kilos for Jonathan Sellers of Belgium, a ten-kilo jump from his opener. You know, in this session we have a certain lifter under three hundred kilo deadlift. Very, yeah. very high level. Very high level. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Nice and steady. Yes. Yes, three white light. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Not enough for the podium, but. Yeah, a big deadlift nonetheless. 297.5 yes. for Enrico Provato of Italy. A 17 and a half kilo jump from his open arm, which was very quick. Yes, I remember. And also very quick. <laughs> yeah, it didn't slow down <laughs> much at yes, all. Yes, it's good, of course. Yeah, some lifts are just obvious when they're good, and I think that was yeah, one of them. Yeah. Jonathan Aswastin of Canada jumps 20 kilos to 300 for his second attempt. A match deadlift PB should he get this. Yeah. It looks like he does. Let's wait for the referees. Three white lights, a good lift. Yes. Germany, yes. 307.5 kilos. A bit jump also. Yeah, 17 and a half from his opener. And as you said, lots of lifters in this flight above yeah, 300 yeah. kilos. Very high level in this session. That's a very <laughs> speedy second. Yes, the white light, very easy. Very, very easy. Okay. We now have Malik Bonusi Triolet of France, 307.5 kilos. A big jump from his opener and increasing the gap he has between himself and Silva. Just 19 years old, fresh into the juniors. If it is good lift, it is a big, big option for the gold medal in total. And it's hard. Oh. oh! And does that open the oh. door? I see the coach. The coach is not happy, but he's not finished. No, you're right. There is one more attempt at that, but he does lose grip, which yeah, is worrying. Yeah, yes. And it means that the door opens for some other lifters. If he can't get another lift in and another lifter can get two more in, 
the gap can be closed. So we have Yulong Lee of Sweden now. Sweden. 315 kilos, a 15 kilo jump from to Zopina. Take, to take the silver medal position in total, yes. Oh, he struggled a bit at lockout as well, but I think it's okay. Yes, for me, it's okay also. And, uh, no. No, two to one, a two no blue, left. Let's watch blue. that again on the replay. See yeah, what you yes, think. we might see the replay. Of course, the coach got to climb. Ah, for me, it's good. For me, it's good. What say referee? What say the jury? Yeah, no. two to one on yeah, the jury. So, yeah, yeah, so still in no left. We now have Iron Kalmik of Ireland. But it's not finished, of course, for Sweden. Of course, 317.5 kilos to pull him into bronze overall for the time being. Yeah, yeah. And as you said, they all have a third attempt still. And that looked strong. Very easy. Oh, and two to one, a no lift, insufficient lockout. No lock. So, the, of course, the Irish coach goes yes, to the jury. The coach got to the jury. Let's have a look there. What do you think, Xavier? Ah, the shoulder, yes. The shoulder, not very. Yes. Yeah, and the, the jury, jury are not budging show, today. Yeah, the shoulder, yes. Now we have Matt Silvey mm. of New Zealand. He missed 317.5 on his opener. Oh, yes. He just tipped forwards, I think, and, yeah. and missed that down command. Retaking it now on his second. And uh, he can win a medal in deadlift. Yeah, he's so definitely in a yeah, shot yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, so he must success. I don't remember why he's not success in the first attempt. He just hit forwards, I believe. The strength is there. Holds it this time. <laughs> we wait for the referee. Three yes. white lights. He secures a total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, certainly a medal in deadlift. Yeah. Certainly. We must wait, of well, course. Well, yeah, there are six lifters <laughs> yet to lift, so... <laughs> But I think he, he can win a medal in total. And now, Luca Umberto Italy. and Grisano, Italy, 320 kilos, a 12 and a half kilo jump. It's the same, he wants a medal in deadlift. Some big deadlifters here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We wait. But not enough for a medal in total. No, 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 no. I think you think that's a bad lift, Xavier, based on your response. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Too heavy. Unfortunately, that is a no lift. Just drops out of his hands at the top. He was struggling with lockout as it was. Yeah, and once it, your grip starts to go, there's nothing you can do. No. Okay, now we're America for uh, medal position in deadlift. And in total, yeah, we have Shane Nutt of the United States. Ah, in States. total also, yes, in total also. He jumps 20 kilos from his opener to 325. And we've said the whole time, you know, the race towards the end for overall podium and for deadlift, it seems, is going to be really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see how 20 kilos added to his yeah. deadlift does for him. If it is easy, we must wait for the third attempt. Oh, oh, and again, another lifter with some I issues. I don't understand, yes. Too heavy, yes, I know, but no fight. No fight. Yeah, so makes me think that maybe he can fight for that on his third, because we don't didn't see him do I it on that know. one. We don't know. He know. He know. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we have Nathan Yes, Kival. yes, yes, yes. And he missed his opener, yes. but he went up anyway to 325 kilos. For the silver medal in deadlift and in total silver medal position, of course. For yeah, the, the strength is absolutely there. He must do it. He must do it. He just needs to keep the bar still at the top. Convince all three referees that it's a good lift. And he held it really well then. For me, it's very good. And it's three wild flags. And very exciting it championship. Is. It is not finished. He secures himself a total yeah. and now can fight for podium overall and in deadlifts.
We now have his teammate, Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain. Now I suppose it is a, it's a fight for the podium in deadlift. Yeah. Between, a between three lifters. Kilo jump, 330 we kilos start, yes, for Nathaniel to. Messiah of Great Britain. Pull him into third overall and deadlift gold for the time being. And it's quick. Mm -hmm. We must wait. We must wait for a referee, yes. Yes. What do, you think, what do you think uh, happened there, Xavier? A little down and uh, not finish. I, I agree with uh, blue and red. You know, when you see up, a little down and not finish uh, for the shoulder. But it is not a big mistake, but. Yeah, he's turned yes, away from the jury. They the agree, jury do not overall. Unfortunately, yes. but it's still moving well, so yeah. he could take the risk and go up. We now have Alexander Wei Ru Ang of Singapore. 335 kilos, a 20 kilo jump. This will pull him onto the podium and into deadlift gold for the time being. Oh, yes, certainly. If success is sure, it will be on the podium in deadlift. We don't know the place, but it will be on the podium in deadlift. Oh, and he oh, 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 a oh, bit oh, of trouble oh, there. Oh, 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 yeah, no, no, no. unfortunately, just a wobble at the top. But he can do it. He can do it. I'm sure he can do it. Yeah, and let's hope he gets your positive vibes there and pulls through on that third attempt. But a lot of missed second attempts no, this no. round. Yes. <laughs> and our final second attempt, we have Peyton Johnson of the United States so jumping to 340. Yes, if we want uh, to see a new world we call, he must succeed. Yeah, absolutely. This is 15 kilos below the world record. And this will pull him into third overall and deadlift gold he already has. Mm. Yes. Okay, we must see. Very important lift for him. And it's moving. Mm. And he manages to lock it out. Let's wait to see what the referees say. Yeah, yeah, yes. Two to one, a good lift. Is a blue from the center yeah, referee. The jury discussed. What would the blue be for there, Xavier, then? Hey, the, the bar little down here. Just here. No. No, no change. Yeah, I okay, think you'll be alright there. The okay. But I'm sure no, no world record. <laughs> we'll have to see there on no his third. Record. Maybe he has a really good grind yeah. in him. And we move straight through. Because uh, it is not sure for the gold medal in deadlift. So yeah, and unfortunately, I, th I think you're right. He went for 350. And obviously, he has two attempt changes on his final deadlift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the moment, there is no world record put in. And we move straight through to the third and final attempts, where we will find out who sits on the podium and where. Malik Benusi Triole obviously is leading, but struggled with his second attempt, as did many of them, actually. So the door is fully open and it yes. is a many horse race. Yes, for the moment we know absolutely no who is a winner at the end of the session. Absolutely, it's very exciting. Very exciting. 277.5 for James Lowe of Canada for his third and final attempt for a two and a half kilo deadlift PB. No. Just too heavy for him today. <laughs> no medal, sorry. Okay, Belgium now. Jonathan Sellis of Belgium, 290 kilos, a five kilo jump yes. from that second. It won't do much to his uh, placing overall. Yes. But a strong end to the day should he get this. Unfortunately, can't break the ground there. 
And he's okay, he's awake. Just sometimes with deadlifts, you can get a little lightheaded, yeah, yeah. especially after a long day of competing. But he walks off. Shows that he gave everything he had, though. Okay, now. Now is where it gets really interesting. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Very, very interesting. Because. For the moment. Yeah, Malik. He's a winner. Yeah, but if Malik Banusi Trule does not get this, the door opens at yes, 307. Yes, for Great Britain. Yes, for Great Britain. He loses this grip on his second. Can he keep it now on the third? Ay, come on, Malik. Come on. Come on, Malik. Come on, come it. on. He locks it at all. Oh, but he oh. lets go. And that opens the door. The fight was finished and he's. Ah. Yeah, it means now that the door has been opened yes. for another Cosimo lifter. Mati is a winner, but we must wait, of course, for Great Britain. Yeah, so if Great Britain oh. are able to pull now their third attempt, they will walk away junior champion. And yeah. currently that is Nathan Gavau of Great Britain. But not so far behind is Nathaniel Messiah. We must wait. Uh, yeah. We must wait uh, eight minutes. And first up, we have minute, Enrico Trovato of Italy, 310 kilos. Very, very exciting fight. Yeah, it stayed exciting all the way to the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, just no, loses no, grip no, there. No, 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 no. No leaf, no leaf, no leaf. <laughs> yeah, not many successful third attempts in the 93s today, but we're hoping to see some. But no bomb, you see, no bomb. Yeah, everybody was able to yes. make a total, which is fantastic. Fantastic. High level competition and good. Good coaching. Good coaching, good lifter. We now have Yulong Lee of Sweden, 315 kilos, and this will pull him to silver place in overall. In total, yes. Silver place in total, uh, wait. But the bar is just being wiped down for him. Not quite ready yet. He's trying to stay hyped there. The energy is there. 315 for Yulong Lee of Sweden. For silver overall, for the time being, I'm surprised uh, Great Britain no change. Ooh, just no not leave, there no today leave. for him. So he finishes at the moment just shy of the podium. Yes. Canada. We now have Jonathan Asselstein of Canada, 317.5. For the bronze medal position in deadlift. Yeah. But for the moment, I suppose it is not enough. Yeah, nine lifters following <laughs> <Yes>. Jonathan. <laughs> so, certainly uh, no medal in deadlift, but we don't know. Oh, and it is a fight. No leaf, no leaf, no leaf. <laughs> so, who success the third attempt? Who? Yeah, we are waiting <laughs> for see, to see some we successful are waiting, attempts. We are waiting for the, the session for a third attempt in deadlift. And Perhaps Italy, but he not success at the second attempt. So yeah, you're <laughs> absolutely right. He missed his second attempt and is re-attempting it now on his third. Luca Umberto <laughs> and Grisano. And it is uh, for the gold medal position in deadlift? Or the no, for the bronze medal position in deadlift. <laughs> so we will see. Okay, Italy. It is not his personal best because his personal best is 328. So he can success. He can do it. Oh, I 
I'm sure he can't do it and he do it. Yes, three one clients. And that is a good lift, as you said, a yes. really nice third attempt there. We finally uh, see a yes. third attempt. And for the moment, uh, silver medal. I'm sure he's not finished, of course. Now we must wait one, two, three, four, five. In five lift. We know the winner in this category. We of have. For the moment. Yeah. I am Kalmek of Ireland, 322.5 kilos. A bronze medal in deadlift and total. Yeah, for the time bronze being. Bronze medal position, but uh, not success at the second attempt. Missed 317 on his second, jumping now to 322.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's moving. He locks it out. Can yeah. he hold it? It looked good. It looked good, yes. I agree with you. Ooh, unfortunately, a red and a blue there. The Irish coach goes to the jury. We'll watch that replay quickly. For me, it's good. Yes, overall. And over it has been overruled to a good yes, lift. Yes, overall. For Kalmik, that is a good lift. He moves into bronze so for the for time the being. So for moment, Ireland is bronze medal. Very, very exciting fight in this category. And we have seven deadlifts remaining, and yes. it's going to stay exciting. Yes. Gosh, my heart rate is elevated. Yeah. <laughs> and in three fights, we have the Great Britain for the gold medal in total. We now have semi. Aiguan of Germany, 327.5 kilos for his third and final attempt to pull him into deadlift silver, but more importantly, yeah, yeah. silver overall. <laughs> and he locks it out. I'm just wondering if he assisted there. Let's wait and see. <laughs> no, three white lights, a good lift. And he moves himself. Silver medal yeah. position for the moment, yes. But as we said, six lifts remaining. Yeah, yeah, Still yeah. lots Very of big good. pullers. Okay. Change. We and have we've a had change. Yeah, and I'm expecting to see a few of those. Yes, of course, Great Britain change. Because for gold medal, 332 kilo point five is enough. So now, yeah, we now have Nathan Gavau of Great Britain, yes, 332.5 for the title. Yeah, for between. gold overall. He wants some hype from the room. This is to become yes, yes, the 93 a... junior world champion, 332.5 kilos on the bar. Who will be the winner between France and Great Britain? Let's find out. We will know very shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Nata, come on. And embrace the ground. He locks it out. It looked very good. It looked very yeah. Three white lights. He is your 93 world champion. We'll hold our breath for now because we have some big pullers coming. But for the time being, he pulls ahead of France. How exciting. We've had yeah. another attempt change. Mm. I'm watching as it comes in and Nathaniel Messiah drops to 340. Yes. To pull him into bronze That's overall. The, the first and the second play in total is uh, finish. First Great Britain and second uh, France. Yeah, because now we have a fight for the gold medal in total. In the bronze medal in yes. total. Yeah. It's a bronze medal. We now have Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain. Missed 330 on the second, but it wasn't a strength issue. Goes up 10 kilos to 340. 
This will put him into deadlift silver for the time being, but more importantly, yes, yes. bronze overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can he charge his way onto the podium? It's moving. He locks it out. Yes. It looks good for me. It's good. And it is good. He is sitting in bronze place. Two yes. British athletes on the podium as it stands. For the moment, yes. To Great Britain on the podium for the moment, but it's not finished. We have four deadlifts yes. remaining, and it is electric here. There's not a dry eye in the house. Now it is a fight for the gold medal in deadlift. Yes, it is. And first up, we, we have, have Matt Silvey yeah, yeah, of New yes. Zealand. We have four. 342.5 kilos, a huge jump from his second of 317.5. Yes. This will move him into deadlift gold for the time being. And it's moving. No. Oh, he is stuck no. and unfortunately. Sorry, Nolly, for you. It's just not there today for him, but what a fantastic yeah, effort. Yes, wow. Yes, yes. We have three lifts remaining, and as another, you said, they will be fighting. Another attempt for the bronze medal in total. Yeah, and this is to push is Nathaniel possible. Messiah off of the podium. So Alexander Weiru Ang of Singapore, this will pull him into deadlift gold, but more importantly, push him onto the yes. podium and push Nathaniel yes. Messiah of Great Britain off of the podium. 345 kilos. Who walks away with bronze? We are soon to find out. But Shane Nutt wants in on that fight as well. Mm. And he breaks the floor, but unfortunately, ah. it's just too heavy for him today, but what a fantastic so no medal, effort. No medal for him, not for the total and not for deadlift. Sorry, but the big fight, he tried. Yeah, and you know, what else could he do? It was yes. a fantastic effort and yeah, he left yeah. everything he had on the platform. We have just two lifts remaining yes. and in a similar position, we have Shane Nutt of the United States but mm. it, is, uh, it is the last uh, chance for the bronze medal in total because USA is the number Yeah, enough, uh, and we have yes. Shane Nutt of the yes. United States. He missed yes. 325 yeah, on his yeah. second, has gone up 20 kilos now to 345 kilos. I think it's too much, you know. This <laughs> will pull him into deadlift gold <laughs> and it will pull him into bronze overall, kicking Nathaniel Messiah off of the podium. He must try. Who will walk away with bronze? We will find out in the next 30 seconds. Is it Shane Nutt of the United States or Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain? Come on, Shane, come on. kilos. And no. unfortunately, it's too no. heavy. It's a British podium this evening. But don't go anywhere. We have one deadlift remaining. And this also is to yes, pull into bronze. Nathaniel is not safe yet. Not quite. No, no, it is not finished for the last attempt. And we have. Yeah, he has already his uh, gold medal in deadlift. Yeah, he already walks away with the yes. deadlift gold. But this is for bronze overall. Uh, Nathaniel total. is grasping on to that podium. And the only person now that can take it from him is Peyton Johnson of the United States. 352.5 kilos, two and a half kilos below the world junior deadlift yes. record. Yes. This and is he, his current deadlift PB. It is his personal best. 352.5. So he can him do onto it. the podium. He can do it, of course. He Peyton can do it. Peyton Johnson of the United States. Come on, Johnson. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. 
and he breaks you the ground. He is it. pulling. No, no, no. But no, unfortunately, no, no, no. it's too heavy for him. Oh, no, big fight. And Mark, that gold medal in deadly. Is a fantastic no, 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 no. end to the day. And you're absolutely right. He still walks away with the gold medal in deadlift. Yes. What an exciting session, Xavier. Thank you so much yeah, for joining yes. me for that deadlift session. It was a big pleasure to work with you. And now, at the end... We have Nathan Gavau of Great Britain in gold. We have Malik Bernesu Triolet of France in silver. And Nathaniel Messiah, also of Great Britain, in bronze. We will be heading to the medal ceremony very soon. Yes. Thank you for joining us for such an exciting session. Don't go anywhere.
best results are like the round of applause for all the referees, sponsors, and competitions. Thank <laughs> you. 